Dear Jesus, I thank you for this exciting time for Jordan and Ashley. Lord, what a wonderful morning, what a wonderful time to do this. It's a baptismal of new waters. Father, uh, just as you, uh, as Peter said, repent and remember your baptism, this is one that will never be forgotten. And Lord, we just thank you that we have this day where baptism represents your sacraments that you've given to us. Father, you said go into all the world and baptize them. And so, Father, through this baptism, I pray that they awaken new, that the old is truly passed away, and behold, the new has come. Lord, that a life together, a life with you, a life in Christ will forever be a witness to your kingdom come upon this earth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, here we go. All right, Jordan, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you good to go? All right, here we go. Ashley, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So as you two come together, and as we prepare our hearts to make our wedding vows, I pray that you would draw close and ever closer today. And from this day forth, as you follow Jesus, and as the two become one flesh. In the presence of God and before these witnesses. In the presence of God and before these witnesses. I, Jordan, take you, Ashley, to be my wife. I, Jordan, take you, Ashley, to be my wife. And Jordan, if you'll live your life by these two rules, if you'll just pay attention to your garden, then you will see fruit and y'all will have a fruitful marriage. And here they are. It's to cultivate and keep. Those were the two things that Adam was supposed to do with a garden. And within each woman, there is a garden. And, and if we'll just think of our wives as that garden that God has given us, in the Hebrew, that word means to protect. And the best environments that are cultivated and kept, they produce, and they produce a great return. Wait, did you do it? Yeah, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. In the presence of God and before these witnesses. In the presence of God and before these witnesses. I Ashley take you, Jordan, to be my husband. I Ashley take you, Jordan, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. And to be faithful to you alone. And to be faithful to you alone. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Amen. I would like to pronounce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Richburg and Jordan, I didn't forget, you may kiss your bride.
Ash, we, including yourself, have prayed for a man like Jordan, and God sure did deliver. Jordan, there is not a doubt in my mind that you will always protect my baby sister. I will always have her back, but I rest easy knowing you will protect her for the rest of the way. I love you both so much, and I wish you nothing but blessings and happiness for the rest of your lives. It started with Jordan and Ashley, and it ends with Jordan and Ashley. <laughs> Please raise your glasses and join us in the toast. My brother, he's six years younger than I am. You know, I think growing up, everybody said that he looked up to me. There's a few things I looked up to him. And Ashley, I admire you for letting Jordan be who Jordan is, because Jordan's really happy right now. Raise your glasses, folks. To have and to hold, and now your chips always land in the cup. <laughs> Every time I lose